incredibly evil, though. Four decades of rock. Hi, this is Pete Townsend. Hello, this is Stephen Tyler. Hi, this is Greg Allman. Halloween's Rock Station. Power 90.5. It's cold, it's raining, no worries, dry off with the craziest show in the mountains here on WWCU-FM. Right in between the Great Smoky and Blue Ridge Mountains on the campus of Western Carolina University in Cullowhee, it's time for the craziest show in the mountains. I'm talking none other than Manny's Rock and Conspiracies broadcasting throughout Jackson and Haywood counties worldwide on WWCUFM. I'm your host, Manny Ferenzi. It is a beautiful, not so dry, February 10th, 2019. I hope your day is at least a little warmer than in the rain out there. Unlike most shows, I am joined by guests, two to be precise. It's, this is the second time in history that in another show we've had two guests. I'd like to bring them on. You know one of them. That would be uh, Dan from The Edge. You can hear him Thursdays at 10 p.m. here on WWCUFM. Dan, how you doing? And, of course, we also have uh, a guest that's been on this program before. The last time he was on, he made the accusation that I had gave him vinegar because we, were, we had dead air for a bit. Please welcome Chandler J. Reese. You can find him on Twitter at Chandler J. Reese. Chandler, how you doing? The New World Order. You did. You did. I mean, people, I mean, some people look at my hat and I'm like, they're like, you're in the New World Order. And I'm like, no, it's just, it's just, it's just fashion. It's just fashion. I mean, am I right here, Dan? Am I right absolutely, here? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Uh. <laughs> it's going through like 10 different banks where your funding is coming from. <laughs> but after all those banks, there is someone who is controlling the world. There's We're gonna, always someone controlling the world. There always is. There always is. And, I mean, Google, Google, you know, Google always gets involved in sort of this stuff. Um, when you mention Google, I found this story today, and I just had to start it off today with a bunch of stuff. Because, I mean, there's a lot to talk about today. The Roswell UFO crash site was sold. A politician in Canada, because, of course, it's Canada, course. was wondering if the Earth was flat. A driver has blamed the aliens for a car crash. Uh, you see, sir, why did you crash your car to the ditch? Uh, sir, the aliens did it. It wasn't my fault. The aliens did it. Aliens. How dare, aliens. How dare those aliens? Yeah. <laughs> don't they know about par parallel parking? I, I don't think they do, Dan. So here's a story out of Zero Hedge, I believe. This is the site. Um, NYPD orders Google to stop showing cops where, where police people where cops are. This is from their official statement. Quote, the NYPD has become aware that the Waze mobile application currently permits the public to report DWI checkpoints throughout New York City and Mouthy's locations. Accordingly, we demand that Google LLC, upon receipt of this letter, immediately remove this function from the Waze application. Further, the NYPD requests that Google take away every necessary app precaution to ensure that GPS data of NYPD DUWI checkpoints or any other substantially similar data is not uploaded or posted at a future time on the Waze mobile application, Google.com, Google Maps, or any other associated internet slash websites or web portals or platforms under Google LLC's its partnership sponsors or affiliates control. So, this is an interesting one. I'm amazed that there's an app out there that tells you about it. There's got to be an app for everything these days. Yeah, there, well, see, there is. What it clearly is mm -hmm. yes, is who, who, whoever is giving them their money is is set, is set on trying to tell people where the cops are so they'll be able to avoid the police officers yes. and commit all the crimes they want <laughs> within reason. But the thing is, <laughs> if everybody, reason? but if everybody keeps committing crimes, then what'll happen is it'll destabilize cities and then it'll undermine the, just everything, and then that'll give them the 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 opening they need. To establish their newer world order. The newer, <laughs> that's the new one. The newer world order. Danny has something to say. But wait. What? Are crimes actually crimes, or are they just situations? Situations perpetrated by the quote unquote want to be leaders. Hmm. Did you just take a page in a sovereign citizen handbook? <laughs> Do you expect you have a crime? Do you suspect you have a crime, sir, officer? <laughs> officer, uh, under this, under common law jurisdiction, I am, a, I am a person under the Secretary of State. I am a corporation. My name is a corporation. Therefore, that means that I, Manny Forenzi, does not allow contact between you, Dan, from the... Uh, 
And, 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 you don't understand, and, and you're also, Manny. You're also sovereign. You're also neither of you being. understand. <laughs> yes. Chandler Reese is not on your show. That yes. was the name given to me, and maybe the name I go by. But the thing is, Chandler Reese refers to the corporation or the Secretary of State, <laughs> of which I am a representative. So when you say Chandler Reese, you're talking about all this information. But no, none of that pertains to me. That pertains to the corporation. The corporation, don't Chandler you, Reese. Well, actually, don't you mean your straw man? Is that what you're referring to? Your straw man? Go on, Dan. Go on. See, what happens when you're born is you're given a quote-unquote birth certificate, which actually incorporates you into the co the bigger corporation of the United States. And your straw man, which is the personage that is connected to your birth certificate, is what all the banks and everything else that the United States has within it is able to... Uh, basically make money off of same concept yeah. it's still technically a separate person exactly. in air quotes person. for me air I'll, quotes air quotes i'll mention this real quick before we head off with the music uh i actually asked a wcu university police officer when i was off when i was taking a break from work and i asked him have you ever encountered sovereign citizen in your time at western he's told me no but this is what i found out exactly that police officers are actually trained to deal when when they pull up and they're like oh, sir i'm not a person I am an individual. <laughs> they are trained to deal with that, and he explained to me how they how they're trained to deal with it, which I thought was pretty unique, very interesting to do. So yeah, Google Maps is apparently uh, under a under a letter, legal letter filed by the New York Police Department. Very very interesting. Of course, there'll be more all sorts of conspiracies on here, slightly from Reddit, such as let's see what this what's what they got here. The flu virus is a scapegoat. Well. All the anti-vaxxers must be happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this show started off the right way. From Styx, here is Renegade. You're listening to the craziest show in the mountains, Manny's Rockin' Conspiracies, here on WWCU Cullowy, Power 90.5. Welcome back to Manny's Rock and Conspiracies here on Power 90.5. Chloe's Classic Rock stage leading us off with sweet victory because the NFL refused to do it and they teed it with the Maroon 5. Welcome, joined again by Dan from The Edge here on WWCU and Chandler Reese. Yes, yes. That, that you, should, you guys should have seen this on the studio webcam. It's found on WWCU.com slash studio webcam. Uh, Chandler, Chandler Reese just did an amazing rendition of Sweet Victory. You yeah, might, you did. You might want to turn his mic on. Thank you for that. I am <laughs> I'm not used to having that. Wait a second. Chances. Are you saying my mic was off the whole time? Not uh, the whole time, not no. Not the whole time, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Chandler, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, yeah, I actually came home to watch the talk to him. I'm like, yeah, sweet victory. I played it on my show twice, and then I get nothing. But a person, a affiliate of this program. A person? A person, Cole. He has been on the show before. Right. He has told me. It's because Adam Levine and Squilliam Fancy Son from Band Class look Squilliam. alike. Squilliam. So I think that's the reason. Squilliam, mm. Squilliam messed up the halftime show. I, I'm, 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 I'm doing my Alex Jones. Okay, so <laughs> this is a thought, right? The dri a driver blames the aliens. 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 For they look like Squilliam. A.K.A. Uh, extraterrestrials for those that are not connected to dots. There. So here's what happened, all right? <laughs> A van rolled over in California, specifically Highway 18, Wednesday, last Wednesday, on, on a mountainous area of San Bernardino, California. He subsequently called 911. Told the dispatcher it had been caused by extraterrestrials. According to California Highway Patrol officers who arrived on the scene, the unnamed driver became argumentative with police as well as other motorists who had touched up on his condition. This, of course, is entirely understandable. If this story is being pushed off the road by a UFO, is believed, one might think that the man's ET tale is an indication that he may have been possibly impaired. So, you don't understand, man. It's not only extraterrestrial, it's also extra-dimensional. It just came in from another dimension <laughs> and then just hit the side of my car and left. <laughs> They're sadistic. How do you, I want to know though if, if 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 this is true that the aliens basically did a hit and run and called this guy to vandal? How, how do you how do you take an alien to court? That's uh, a very good question. Yeah, I mean, how would you be like? Uh, we are serving an arrest warrant for the um, the gray alien that was spotted um, rolling over this guy's van. Uh, Here's what you do. What do I do? You find their charter, 
chartering their straw man down at the office of the Secretary of State. <laughs> and what you do is you bring that to court. Don't tell the alien how Earth's customs work, just like we don't tell the humans about this so they don't realize. And then the alien will think, wow, i got to go to court. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. See, see, Chandler's dropping these odd truth bombs here, man. He's, he's putting out all the stuff, you know. Uh, that It's a very odd tale. Um UFOs though. How would a how would a UFO, which is probably bigger than the guy's van, I would believe, knock over his van completely? It's bigger than the van. Wouldn't it like pull the van up? Maybe um, maybe he was trying to communicate with these extraterrestrial beings, and maybe they were like using their headlights, and the extraterrestrial vehicles was, were using their lights, uh -huh. and they just blinded each other, and then. They just hit one another on the, on the road or something. I don't mm. know. I'm speculating here, of course. Chandler, what else do you think about this? I mean, what could happen? I mean, have politicians spoken out on this very act? Okay, listen, I know what's happened, okay? What's happened? Actually, after this, actually, because I have special knowledge. After this happened, this yes. specific, this particular alien decided, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm just, I'm just to do something funny. I'm going to do something funny else to Earth, but I'm not going to hurt someone in this process. So what he did was he flew up to Canada, okay. and he went up to a Canadian politician. <laughs> yes. And the, alien, and the alien whispered in the politician's ear, hey, hey, listen, I know that, uh, you know, you, you got to look reasonable, but here, here's the thing. You don't realize publicity can get almost anyone elected. So, you know, it'd be a funny meme and we'll get your name out there. What if I told you that even though you've seen pictures and I've seen it from space that the earth is round, why don't you just say instead it's flat? <laughs> we'll talk about that next after a musical break and a six and a pause for station identification. It's a very odd thing. What do you think? Can the have you been hit over the road and into a ditch or rolled over by a UFO? Give us a call at 828-227-7173 again. 828-227-7173 again. Let's get back to the music. You're listening to Manny's Rockin' Spirits on WWCUFM. Here's Ozzy Osbourne with I Don't Wanna Stop Talking About Conspiracies. More music. You might leave, but you'll be back. Coming up. Welcome back to Manny's Rockin' Conspiracies on WWCUFM. Again, I'm joined by Dan from The Edge. Howdy. And Chandler Reese. Aliens. Aliens, I know. Well, Chandler mentioned earlier there was a thing about a Canadian politician talking about, about the Earth being flat. Well... I think when I hear something like that, it leads me with one philosophical question. What do I do, Lord? Destroy the child. Corrupt them all. This is their plan, people. These are demons. I love playing that sound like I love that. Wait, so, demons. What? Is that Alex Jones? They call me the meme machine. You know, please make more goofy memes of yours truly. Uh... Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, you guys. My tweeting I, birds got banned off of Twitter. <laughs> you need to, you need to like buy our supplements, you know, because uh, you want that super manny vitality. Word, super brother. manny. <laughs> I did. I, I've made that joke for a while on the internet. So this comes from a politician that served on the city council in Gatineau, Quebec, Canada. Oh, Canada. Where the best Canadians are from, the really. The true north, strong and free. So, the only people who argue with that are people from every other province. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to my Canadian listeners, Don in uh, Toronto, break, who is in Quebec. And if Eric listening on the Manitoba side of things, I'm very sorry for this article. I'm very sorry. This was posted by Natalie Lemieux. Posting comments two weeks ago on her Facebook page. Basically, you guys, there was a news story that came out that YouTube was going to start downplaying conspiracy theory videos, including ones that concern the flat earth. Hmm. This is what she posted on her Facebook. Quote, who decided that the earth is round, she mused, and why should we believe it? Lemieux went on to advise her followers to ask themselves, why now that people realize that it is possible that the Earth is flat, they want to hide the explanations that prove it? How much money is delivered to, diverted to NASA? Lemieux did not endorse it outright, but she did say this. Personally, I do not believe anything of what I watch on news, and I always do research, she said. The world is a stage, and several actors have fun at our expense thinking to be smarter than us. 
Basically, her comments were uncovered by a local newspaper. Her office was contacted for clarification. An aide confirmed that the politician did post a strange thing on her Facebook page and refused to provide any further additional information about the flat earth. Okay. I mean... Yes. Two questions. Yes, sir. If the earth was, hypothetically speaking, of course, if the earth was flat... Yes. Then why are all the pictures that we take from uh -huh. space round? Number one, question number one. Yeah. And num number two, number two, <laughs> hang on. If, if it were flat, then would would NASA, you know, need to, of course, diverge a bunch of money into, like, Photoshop? Because mm -hmm. they're, they're taking pictures of flat Earth, and then they're making it round. Listen, listen. With that second question, using logic. If you use logic under conspiracy theories, that means you're part of the big thing, which means that I can walk over there right now and beat you up with sticks, which means you're lucky because I don't have sticks. You know, not sticks. I, as I, I, I remember I watched a debate on YouTube once. Um, podcast host and MMA commentator Joe Rogan, who has taught conspiracy theories before on the show, he once talked about space being fake. I guess space really is just a blanket like the old Catholic Church said before Galileo Galilei came along. So where are we really? Where are we? Are we on Earth? I don't know anymore, Dan. But, like, I, 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 I remember because I was watching this because his friend on there was Eddie Bra, who is a jujitsu like black belt. Pretty nice dude. He, but he was saying, like, how the Earth is flat and dinosaurs aren't real. Um, and he was like, Go look at um, the Mickelson-Morley experiment. If you research the Mickelson-Morley experiment, it was an experiment done in 1899 that... Totally not outdated science. <laughs> <laughs> that it could not prove that the Earth is flat. And a lot of flat earthers cite this. The issue here is that it was done in 1899. Like, that, like, I mean, Chandler was talking about... Um, Vaccines causing autism, that conspiracy. And if you recent re look into it, the, the, the whole theory came from one study that was published in 1998 saying that vaccines cause autism. Let me say for the record, by Manny, the way, on, yes. you're trading on very, on very, uh, very treacherous ground here. Because I know. There are people like me yeah? who, though I have gotten vaccines and do have no, oh no, oh no. autism, here we go. there's no correlation. So, frankly, Manny, the fact that you're bringing this up is, is not suitable for the air. <laughs> well, but look, the good thing is you also have permission to slap me for being so uptight right now. Well, I, well I'm sorry. I would not, I would not attack you at all. Uh, we're, I would not attack you at all. That's, that's against my beliefs. I just want to say as well, the beliefs mentioned on this show are not exactly an endorsement of these beliefs. Good. Yes, exactly. Um, but I'm just pointing out how, like, in terms of, like, that theory... There is one study that says that they, they cause that condition, and but then there's so many more that have tried to debunk it. Specifically ones pointing out what was wrong with that study. Yes, and that's why I look, they're like, we're going to cite the Mickelson-Morley experiment to go with Earth flat. It's like Which was actually performed in 1887, by the way. 1887. Even more outdated. Yeah, I mean, I was wrong in a day. And he went to the interview like, oh, Albert Einstein. He got Albert Einstein to say that the Earth is flat. Or we're not moving. Why is that? Because it was the science at the time, not, yeah, the Earth is flat because Albert Einstein, because E equals MC Earth is flat. We're, we're spinning in a, we're, <laughs> we're spinning. That's, that's not exactly how that uh, I know, equation I know. is supposed to go there. I do. I think, I think maybe he was trying to figure out if we were spinning in a futuristic microwave. The Earth, the Earth, the Earth is flat. Or space is just a giant microwave. And we're just spinning and spinning and spinning we're, with radio waves. Well, we're kind of like going all over the place right now. Yeah, but we are. If you if you want to get some do some research on something that'll kind of freak you out. Yeah. Uh, uh, spooky. Uh, I'm I'm not I'm sorry. I'm, it's okay. I'm, it's a fine. Spooky something at a distance. And Albert Einstein done that study. I can't remember exactly what exactly the thing is, but spooky. Action at a distance, I think it was. Because uh, what happened was yeah? he was doing some experimentation, and he noticed that if he did something here, uh -huh. something else would happen on, like, the other side of the planet. So what? If, I, if, I, if I'm remembering 
how the experimentation went correctly. Yes, I want to believe. <laughs> it is really interesting. I should look into that. Also, I'm getting messages a lot. Um, for my friend Isaac in Alabama, he said, what in the, is that guy a flat earther? Uh, Isaac, none of us are flat earthers at all. I, Chandler, are you, do you, are you, you're not a flat earther, right? I'm an oval earther. <laughs> an o- <laughs> you know, I believe in the ovular earth. The ovular earth. And then we have, and then we have Dan from the Edge, who has a show here uh, Thursdays from eight to ten here on WWCU. I am also a non-flat earther. Yes, uh, none of us believe in the space waffle, Isaac. None of us <laughs> believe in the space waffle. Okay, okay. None of us believe in the space waffle. It, it's it's gonna it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, brother. You know, you know, Isaac. You know, I'll make it better for you. You tuned at a bad time when we're all talking about the flat Earth. So what I'll do for you, it's okay, it's okay. What I will do for you, Isaac, I'll play your song, a staple of the program. This is Full Moon by Sonata Arctica. You're listening to the craziest show in the mountains, Manny's Rockin' Conspiracies. Will you switch that to our frequency? Power 90.5. Where are you? WWCU Colloway. WWCUFM.com. Power. 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 It's the 7 o'clock Numa Numa here on Manny's Rocket Conspiracy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if you guys are watching on our studio webcam, you can find it at www.cu.com slash shows. Um, all three of us busted into the Numa Numa. I mean, we, we had to. We, we had traveled to. basically back to 2006 and we did the Numa Numa. Also, of course, I am joined wait, wait, by... Wait. Dan from the How do we go 13 years and back in only a few seconds for us? Exactly. Is time travel a thing? I'm believing it is, my mm. friend. Uh, but listen, uh, well, listen, guys, all right? Listen, you two. We're going to make it fun, all right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay. Because I got more conspiracies. And so right now, there's over a 1,000 nuclear weapons just on a group of ships pointed at North Korea. Of course, you know where the rest are really pointed. Justin Bieber! All right, so you two know who Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is, correct? Correct. Yes. Good. Very good. If you don't know, Ruth Bader Ginsburg is a Supreme Court justice that's been serving for a very long time. She is in her late 90s. Recently, she has been battling cancer. I don't remember what cancer it is, but it it sounded pretty bad. And I, I, I honestly, in all seriousness, hope that she gets well soon. Yep. There are people... That insists that she is dead, even though she appeared in public last Monday. However, I, Chandler, I think see, Chandler has a theory. See, on. here's the thing: is yes, sir. You remember earlier we talked about that alien that uh, you know knocked over that guy's car. Yeah. Well, we were wondering how would you take a literal extraterrestrial to court? Yes. Turns out Ginsburg never actually fell or broke anything, as those earlier stories suggested. No, she actually had to take that time off of the court just to go see, do the legal research at. You know, at the Justice Department's request, okay, listen, we know an actual extraterrestrial did this. How can we force them to come to court? And Ginsburg, digging through all the files, found that old documents from the Secretary of State about making straw men, and she realized, I found it. Oh, no. Oh, no. And, and, in addition, there was that one little blib... One little blip on Fox News that one day, yeah, that they posted a picture of Ginsburg with yeah. the subtitle that she had died. Yeah, so here's I mean, it's going. almost like they have that prepared or something, exactly, and that it was just put up there by mistake. Yeah. How would that happen though? That's a good question. So, here's what I have from the Independent in the United Kingdom. A falsehood has been spreading in the dark corners of the internet that Ruth Bader Ginsburg is dead. And the hours after he published this report, conspiracy theorists pelted Mr. Barnes of the Washington Post with their doubt mongering. Photos were not allowed at the event, so one of the doublers emailed Mr. Barnes 21 questions about Mrs. Ginsburg's appearance. 
the size of her security detail, what gender they were. For example, telling Mr. Barnes that if he did not answer every detail, he answered every single one of them. Then it was a sign his article was not to be believed. Um, conspiracy theories, man, they are going all over the place recently. Then the article goes on into um, goes on into conspiracies about QAnon, about a uh, Pizza Gate. Oh, QAnon. <laughs> do you, I'll tell you this. I you, vaguely remember that one. You, so QAnon, if you don't know, do you remember Chandler? Oh, okay, no. I'll refresh your memory. QAnon was this person called Q posting on 4chan, the or internet forum site per 4chan. Person or persons. Person or persons, yes, that is claiming to have Q clearance. Now, my friend in Mexico is like, Manny, your dad's in the army. What does Q clearance mean? And Q clearance, for those who don't know, is basically the highest level of security clearance a regular civilian can attain it is under the Department of Energy. And he Q started posting all these questions onto the Anon board on 4chan. I think it was Anon. I think, I think that's like what I'm getting at. Um, and CNN once talked about QAnon saying that because Donald Trump tweeted that he about 17 members of the Democratic Party that he was signaling to oh, QAnon. Yeah. Um, because Q is the 17th letter of the alphabet. Wasn't that it? Yeah. They based their own conspiracy. Yep. <laughs> but its real boost came when a couple of right-wing personalities with large social media profiles engaged in it. Ben Garrison, a prominent pro-Trump cartoon tweet about this Gar Ms. Ginsburg's whereabouts. Fox News show Fox. And this is what, Chandler, this is what uh, Dan was talking about. Gra aired a graphic that briefly said she had died, but quickly apologized that it was a mistake. Mistake. Meaning, from the Norwegian, Miss Taka, meaning to take an error. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. A reference to a really obscure video game. If you get that reference, you get a cookie. Thank you very cookies much. Cookies are that. delicious. I could use a nice cookie, you know what I mean? <laughs> cookies are just mm, yeah. So that's a conspiracy. But let me ask you, do you think RBG, notorious RBG, as I'm led to be believed to hit her nickname, is unfortunately passed away, or is she just fine? It's is a conspiracy. Why don't you let me know? At 828-227-7173. Again, 828-227-7173. I wanna get into one more thing before we get off the air for some music real quick. Someone on Reddit r slash conspiracy posted about how, I can't remember what was the original post real quick before I go, that said, who, who's ready for the 51st state? It, it's, a, it, it's a Twitter post that reads, and I am quoting, TV channel in Chile with Big Fruitian, Donald Trump, Presidente de Venezuela. Wrong. Mm. <laughs> Wrong. Bruh. No. It's fake news. It's fake news. Quintessential fake news. It's f apparently to um, Mr. Trump, as played by Mr. Reese, apparently it is all fake news. Listen, their leader is not Donald Trump. His name is Nicolas Maduro. And do you know what name we get for Nicholas? Who? Nick. They're literally run by Nick the Devil. Okay? <laughs> so what, what does that mean by Nick the Devil? Are you because Nick is a nickname. For Satan himself. Are you serious? Venezuela is run by... Okay, to be honest, I don't remember... Oh, wait, wait. I think I remember that part in the uh, What You Call movie. What part? The... Are you talking about Team America where, like... No, no, no. No? Uh, what's the movie that... Uh, I'll, get, I'll get back. Go, go ahead. Get back to me on that, yeah. Uh, that's an interesting one. Chandler just pointed out apparently that... Um, that yeah, uh, Nick is a nickname for... Carmen and all that. Sure. For Satan, I believe. I don't know. I, I'll, 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 sir, I'll research Old that. Old Nick. That's what it is. Nick. Old Nick. Old Nick is a <laughs> what in the world? What in the stuff that happens on Manny's rocket conspiracies always makes me well question. It'll all. make you say money, M money, or it will make you say hmm. hmm. But thank you for tuning in for the crazy on the mountains. When we come back, let's talk about how Roswell's crash site has been sold in beautiful Roswell, New Mexico. And what else? Die at Love Pass investigation has been gotten even more interesting as Russia has reopened that investigation. I'm sure my friend Isaac, who is from Russia, will tell me all the wonderful things about how dangerous Russia is. But let's get to, let's go into Bat Country by Avenged Sevenfold. You're listening to the craziest show in the mountains, Manny's rocking.
Conspiracies. Philosophy. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Manny's Rock and Conspiracies here on WWCUFM. Power. Now that five again. I'm joined by Dan from the Edge. Howdy, howdy. And Chandler. Memes. Has, yes, we mu we must have memes. Memes are the price we pay for being online and living in a civilized society. I wonder if anyone's ever made a meme of me. I I've been meme before. I'll I'll tell you this real quick. Um, there is an image out there that I've posted and used on social media before where it's Manny. It's a picture of Alex Jones, but. Manny's head as the, the character Manny the dragon is oh, put no. over out with head because this is what happened I got a headshot from a uh, uh, commission from an artist in Poland he did really good like it looks really good I've used it as my it's my current Twitter profile picture at Manny Radio Dirt because mm -hmm. follow me there um, and my within the hour within the hour I got this mind you ladies and gentlemen my friend Don in Toronto Canada sent me a picture in which it looked like Alex Jones. And I'm like, Don, what have you done? Well, I memed you, Manny. Derp. <laughs> derp. I memed you, Manny. Derp. derp. And I'm like, Don, what did you do? With it, I was amazed. I was not amazed like he did it, but that like, he did it within the hour. He's like, you know, I saw this. This looks good on Alex Jones. Let me put it there. Just do some things there. And it looks great. Hey, Manny, you know what you can't forget about? What can I forget about? The edits I've made. Yes, we cannot forget about that. Also... This is something interesting. We mentioned traveling in time, but what about this? The Big Bang, several years ago, may have created a mirror universe where time runs backwards. Hmm. That could be like where Thanos actually is. Mm. So me, Thanos. Uh, so this is... Osnacht. <laughs> this, this is what it is. So one theory proposed in 2004 by Sean Carroll, now a professor at Caltech, and Jennifer Chen, then his graduate student, says that time moves forward because of the contrast and entropy between then and now. It's also, according to the doctor, wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. With an emphasis on the fact that future universes, universe will so much will move will much more disordered than the past. That movement toward high entropy gives time its direction. Here is the from reporting for Scientific American. The system's complexity is at its lowest when all the particles come together at a densely packed cloud, a state of minimum size and a maximum uniformity, roughly analogous to the Big Bang. The team's analysis showed that essentially every configuration of particles regardless of their number and scale, would evolve in this low-complexity state. Thus, the sheer force of gravity sets the stage for the system expansion and the origin of time's arrow, all without any delicate fine-tuning to first establish a low-entropy initial condition. Here's the twist. The expansion after the simulated Big Bang didn't just happen in one direction, but two. The simple wow. Big Bang they modeled produced two universes, one a mirror of the other. In one universe, time appears to run backwards. In the other, time runs backwards. Sorry, time runs forwards, but in the other, time runs backwards from our perspective. So I guess in an alternate universe at this very time, at 7.27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're talking backwards. Like backwards on rolling on um, the Led Zeppelin Stairway to Heaven. Mm. Here's the thing. Yes, sir. Did the other universe start at the end of time and then go backwards? Because that would be weird. That would be that very would weird. Be like, imagine, like, you're in 2019 and, like, assume you're in 65 million years ago to the end of the dinosaur that everything's just happening in reverse. So I don't, hmm. It's so... That's Getting the time odd. machine before it affects you. Yeah, exa <laughs> exactly. Exa we, there is no butterfly effect here, ladies and gentlemen. It's just going backwards and backwards and back. No, there's the fly butter effect. The fly <laughs> The fly butter, butter effect. Now, time would not be wibbly wobbly. Time it'd be wimey timey wobbly wibbly stuff. Right. I guess so. Time wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Anyway, we're gonna get back to the music and next segment we'll discuss Diet Love Pass. So you guys heard Diet Love Pass? Yes, but I don't exactly remember what it is. You're gonna be interested, Dan. Have you heard Diet Love Pass? I have not. Oh, you're gonna be interested in that. <laughs> you're gonna be so interested in that. We're going to pause for station identification. And we'll return with a request from Dan. He brought his CDs here. And he's got Smooth Criminal. They cover by Alien Ant Farm. You're listening 
to Manny's Rockin' Conspiracies on WWCUFM Power 90.5. More music coming up. Welcome back to Manny's Rockin' Conspiracies on WWCUFM Power 90.5. The broadcast service of Western Carolina University. Friend again by Dan from The Edge. Greetings, greetings. And Chandler. Reese. Yes, hello. Was it? Is there? Oh, my bad. I, I, I am not used to having three guests here. Again, I'm sorry, Chandler. I'm sorry. You just want to shut me out. No, I, <laughs> That's what I it don't, is. I don't. I don't. Uh, you see, it's... Is it the vinegar acting up? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> if you guys don't know, the last time me and Chandler were on the radio, basically, we got locked out of the station for a bit, and when we come back, Chandler made this accusation that I had given him vinegar instead of drinking water. Made me drink the vinegar. I did not, Chandler. You know this, okay? So You know that I'm telling the truth. You mixed it with olive oil as well. Olive oil is actually full, good for you. It, it is. It is. I mean, it's very But he also good. mixed it with cyanide. <laughs> Whoa! The, I mean, oh my now, goodness. Now we're getting into questionable behavior. We're getting a little bit there. <laughs> so, I mean... It's okay. So let's. And as you were forcing me to drink, and I said, "Money." <laughs> okay. So, I, I I asked you if you knew what that love pass was, and I asked you if you knew what that love pass was. So you want to know what that love pass is? Yes, please. Yes. So, the uh, that love pass is the uns is about the unsolved deaths of nine ski hikers in the northern Ural Mountains of the Soviet Union, between the first of February and the second of February, nineteen fifty nine. It has been sixty years. Since the outlaw pass, and basically, these nine hikers I can't name them all, but they all were ski hiking, they were trekking. Mm -hmm. Basically, um, when they did not return, they did a search and they found them all, all over the place. The tent that they were in was cut open from the inside. This um, story, yeah, it was cut open from the inside. One victim had a fractured skull. Two had major chest fractures, and one was missing their tongue and eye. Wow. That was very odd. And it and their investigation their investigation, which was in 1950 Soviet Union, said an unknown compelling force, if they were attacked by an unknown compelling force that they were unable to overcome. Now, there's been a lot of theories, such as UFOs having some reason. Uh, avalanches, hypothermia, which is most likely necessary. there are in the freezing cold Yeah, Soviet they died Union. of going cold stupid. I've heard that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. avalanches and infrasound-induced panic, military involvement, animal attacks, or some combination of the of them all. We also heard one that it was uh, related to uh, nuclear testing near yes, the area. Yes, because some of, the, one of their, some of the members' clothing had radiation on them. Interesting. So Russia, about a week ago, I reported on this on the program, they announced that they had reopened the investigation and, and on, around the 60th anniversary, I might add. Like, they opened it up uh, oh, around yeah. the time. So, basically, there's new, there is new statistics. This is from Andrei Kurikov, who heads the office, the task with in reinvestigating the Diet Love Path incident, told reporters that it is absolutely out of question that the event was engineered by the authorities. Whether or not this includes the possibility that the hikers fell into a clandestine Soviet weapons test is uncertain at this time. Let me let me ask. Uh, sure. Is the area where they were camping is that now official Soviet uh, army? No. Land or um, it's now it's it, it's along the Ural Mountains. Um, they I, I'm looking at the Wikipedia page. Yeah, there's, there's a picture of their tomb at the in Yekaterinburg, Russia. Um, so it's a very comp. It's a very odd event. That's it's it's, it's basically in the middle of Siberia in, in February. Um, so Siberia. Do they Siberia? Do they have like I know over here in the United States we have the Bigfoot situation. We have Bigfoot. Yeah. Do they have anything like that in Siberia in that area? Uh, I would have to ask. Quatch sash. Sash, yes. <laughs> I mean, I had to. I'd say again, my friend Isaac, who is from the Soviet Union, actually said once to me because there was a theory I read that there were three Putin. He goes, "No, man, there's forty-seven Putins. There is forty-seven. There's forty-seven of them." And the real so, Putin is putting them all in their place. Putting them all. Ah, in their place. no, no. Putting all of his clones where they belong. 
basically there are only three there are only three explanations that are being considered. Also, he just said we have yetis. Yetis, there you they go. They have yetis. Yetis. Oh, yeah. Uh very interesting. Very interesting that they have yetis. Also, uh you want to think about early audience since there was actually a Boy Scout that actually made a um a, a small radioactive reactor in his home once. We mentioned radioactive. Some there was a Boy Scout who mailed a radioactive reactor in his home. He actually posed as a scientist to get that. Well, you mentioned wow. radioactive. That was an actual. Yes, yes, yes. That was that was an actual thing. <laughs> it was an actual thing. Um. So the only three three that uh, scenarios that the investigators in Russia are considering is an avalanche, a snow slab, or a hurricane. How a hurricane in Siberia in a very landlocked name, with the exception yes, yes. of like the um, the North Pole up to its north. I don't know how that one's gonna work, but and it's I don't, a, I don't uh, understand how. Well, I mean, uh, trying, not trying to cut you off. Go ahead. Uh, how would it? How would the avalanche situation like play out? Because if there, if an avalanche happened, they would all be under the snow, right? Yes, and they were all found uh, frozen to death. Uh, they all came out very basically when they all like got out of their tent. They were all very underdressed for negative 30 degree weather so i mean it would that was how bad it was but it's a downer to ufo and zoo you thought that the ufo was behind it so very sorry all right get back to the music real quick this is come out and play from the offspring you're Yay. listening all right that's a good cheer right there you're listening to manny's rocking conspiracies on wwcufm power 90.5 Welcome back to Manny's Rocking Conspiracies here on WWC FM Colby. It's at this point where I have to go and get ready for the next day. I know Dan and Chandler have, but I want to thank both of you for coming on. Dan came on due to sports coverage interrupting his show, which you can find on Thursdays from 8 to 10 here on WWCU Power 90.5. That is correct. Dan, where else can people find you? Any social media to speak of? I do have a, a Facebook page, uh, The Edge Radio Show with Dan. Mm -hmm. You can find me there, as well as on Instagram, the same name, The Edge Radio Show with Dan. Go ahead and follow me up, and I will do my best to follow you as well. And I know Chandler can be found at Chandler, at Chandler J. Reese on Twitter. Chandler, anything else you want to say? Well, the good thing is I do appreciate the $500 check because I've gotten the confirmation on my phone. The money will come to me. The check will come in the mail from the Globe Earth Conspiracy. It was a great thing. <laughs> well, Go Globe Earth Conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, too. This has been Manny's Rock Conspiracies. To follow up with the show, you can follow me on Twitter at Manny Radio Dirk, on Instagram under the same name, and on Facebook, facebook.com. That's Manny Rockin. All right, Manny, this has been Manny Rock Conspiracies. Until the next time we meet, word up. Coming up next, CB Roy's Mostly Blues. Oh my gosh, so trendy. Uh, uh, uh. And we're gonna get cunning, gonna get cunning. And you can tell they're government operatives. They've got like evil in their eyes, you know, hardcore. I mean, their real spirit is. Ah, 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 murder Africa. Ah, invasion force. Ah, release us. Ah. But on the surface, uh, 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 armies at South by Southwest, you go down there. It's literally men in pastels. And part of the effeminate thing is they have these little wispy beards and like bandanas. And they're all walking around bending their wrists like, uh, 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 uh. And the order's like, act like a jellyfish coward and giggle at all reality. They're like, yes, yes. Pentagon's like, how do we get the jellyfish into total war? Dance around and prance. You can see black ops guys are just sitting back, cold-blooded. This will work well on them. Good. Increase dosages in water immediately. Send out trendy, trendies to destroy them. There's nothing, I mean, it, there's nothing the trendies won't buy. And, and again, that's the cover. Imagine the tank ramming the Branch Davidians going, this is not an assault. Please come out. We are your friends. They come out, they shoot them. It's the same thing. I mean, imagine a military that first deploys people hopping around in pink shirts going, ah, ah, ah. it's a perfect deal. Like, oh. This is non-threatening, and it's got big, giant teeth, but in the total darkness, there's a lot of little uh, you know, glowing crustaceans and things that fish eat, so you think you're getting a big, juicy, non-threatening little goblet, but really, it's the lantern hanging, and that's what Coney is. Oh, oh, t and it's like, and it's trendy liberal, Angelina Jolie. 